Hello everyone, welcome back to Kiran's English Hub. So here I am continuing to teach the 6th class English textbook grammar. So in this video I will be teaching you unit 5 textbook grammar. So I know that uh, it has been uh, you know very long time since I have uploaded the grammar part videos. Since uh, you know I was busy with some of the other class uh, videos I couldn't do it so early. So you can watch it now. And, uh, before getting into the grammar part, I would like to tell you a uh, few things here. So first thing is, please do buy the textbook. Uh, if you have textbook with you, especially the TET DS aspirants, it will be easy for you to understand the grammar. And the second thing is, if you are unable to purchase a textbook, you can just, uh, you know, download this PDF from the Google. Okay, you can search it like Telangana in State English Textbooks and all. So you will get uh, so many websites where you can... Uh, download these textbooks okay students so let us getting it uh, get uh, get into it without any uh, late here so first you have read the following statements carefully and write true or false in the brackets so correct the false statement so we have got these statements here so we have to find it find them whether true or false if any statement is false we have to correct that statement so green leaves can split carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen true next we can get we get our food mainly from trees so whatever we eat we you know get that one completely from the trees only okay so like um, other than these animals and all of course most of the animals also they um, feed on uh, this type of leaves and grass only next trees help us get rain so because of the trees only we get rain it is usually cooler under the shade of a tree than in the sun of course if you sit under the sun it is too hot okay you will be burning your skin so if you sit under the tree then it is cooler so trees trees are the shortest living things on earth so that is false right trees are not the shortest uh, uh, living things okay as we can see in the text of this unit uh, trees are some billion years ago okay so that's why trees are the longest living things on earth, not shortest. Okay, students. Next one here we have vocabulary. You have to match the uh, things in part A with their uses or meanings in part B. So here we have some of the words or things and we have to match them with the part B here. Look at the first one. Oxygen. Okay, it is useful for human. Okay, everyone, all the human, uh, you know, they... Uh, use okay they breathe in the oxygen right next carbon dioxide useful for trees so trees need carbon dioxide to make stretch next stretch important part of a food produced by trees okay so the trees uh, you know take this carbon dioxide in make stretch and that stretch is used to produce the fruits and all sap juice or milk from a tree next vapor water drops in the air so these uh, you know words are also going to be very important so please note them very carefully next year there is a mind map okay prepare a mind map related to furniture and medicinal plants okay here we have got a mind map here mind map in the sense you know the uh, major part okay so the main theme will be given in the middle and you have to write the things related to that so furniture in the sense you know everything that is made by the word mostly okay you can write them here so i have already written some of the uh, you know um, furniture names here as you can see chair cot armchair carpet sofa lamp cupboard desk curtains these are all the furniture okay not only just by the word you can write some of the other names also which are made by other things okay so just take the screenshot and you write them later okay next one here you have got uh, medicinal plants mind map so medicinal plants in the sense the plants which are needed or which are useful to make the medicine okay so as you can see here neem tree okay it is very much useful uh, in most of the ayurvedic medicines and all uh, for the uh, you know benefit of the human beings okay so we have some of the other plants here which are also used in the you know medical uh, you know um, things okay medical things like uh, you know tablets tonics okay many other things injections and all 
so you can see some of the names here and you can just take a screenshot and you can also write some of the other names of the trees other than this okay like here you can see rosemary coriander garlic okay basil and all so you can there are many more plants okay not only just these ones only these are collected only for this purpose okay next one so here you have got if clause for the grammar okay so this is important for the tet dsc students so look at the following state uh, sentences from the lesson so here we have a sentence from lesson if you look at the trunk of a cut down tree carefully you will find the rings so here you can see that the condition introduced by if in this sentence expresses a real possibility whose result or effect is felt in the second part of the above sentence so here what happens is two parts two parts in the sense see this is part one till here till comma this is part one and this one after comma this is part two so this result or this effect is completely based on the condition of part one okay so if you look at the trunk of a cut down tree carefully okay so if you look at the trunk like below of the tree which is cut down then you will find the rings okay if you want to find the rings look at the cut down tree below okay so this is the condition and, and the effect so now note the following points about if clauses so for if clauses we have to note some of the following points so the first point here is an if clause is also known as a conditional clause remember an if clause is also known as condition conditional clause tet tsc students might get this type of questions okay what is the another name for if clause okay so it expresses a condition or cause whose result or effect is expressed or felt in the second part of the sentence so what happens is in the first part you will have a condition and that's effect or that's result will be given in the second part like after the comma okay next one if the verb in the if clause is in the present tense the other clause or the main clause normally uses will be so like if the verb in the if clause if the verb in the condition part if it has present tense okay if it, if it has present tense then the other clause then the other clause that means the main clause the second part will be using the will plus verb condition so this is the structure like if plus if there is present tense after comma you will get will plus verb okay next one third rule here an if clause can be placed either at the beginning or at the end of the main clause if it comes before the main clause it is followed by a comma however if it follows the main comma there will be no comma preceding the conditional clause so just look at this example here you will understand it very clearly so there are two types here one thing is you can use the condition clause in the first part or we can also use it in the second part as you can see here in the second sentence so if you are using it in the first part in that sentence then after that conditional clause you will have comma you can see comma here and this is the main clause okay but if you are using the conditional clause if clause in the second part then remember there will be no comma dividing main clause on the conditional clause okay so you can write it uh, in these two types if you are starting the sentence with if clause there will be comma if you are starting the sentence with main clause there will be no comma after the main clause okay students remember this next one rewrite the following sentences as a single sentence okay so now what you have to do is you have to use them uh, you have to rewrite them you have got we have got two two sentences here. we have to combine them using the if uh, condition at the beginning of these sentences the first two are already here work hard you will get success so if you work hard you will get success don't tease the dog it will bite you if you tease the dog it will bite you remember there are commas after uh, every condition clause here next year look at the third one a child is being teased i will try to help him if a child is being teased i will help him 
okay so i will help him or i will try to help him is also okay no problem next study regularly you will do well in examination if you study regularly you will do well in the examination remember students if any sentence okay if any sentence that starts with the main verb directly see study it is a main verb then remember they are all the simple orders or you can also call them as simple suggestions also so those simple orders and simple suggestions they start with the verb directly okay they start with the verb and some of you may uh, might get doubt here so what so what about the subject there must be subject before the verb how can we start the sentence with the main verb so of course there is a subject in this type of sentences and the hidden subject here is you what is that you so that's why here you can see when i you know you you, have, you change it into uh, conditional clause then you are getting the subject here which is you if you study regularly study regularly if you study regularly so the hidden or the subject which is not appearing here is you why wo you next if you study regularly you will do well in the examination okay next give respect to others they too will respect you if you give respect to others they too will respect you okay so this is how you have to commend them next it doesn't rain i will come to you your house if it doesn't rain or if it does not rain i will come to your house next i feel sad i express it to someone who cares so if i feel sad i will express it to someone who cares okay so this is how we again combine this one i feel unsafe i will ask a trusted adult for help help if i feel unsafe i will ask a trusted adult for help so you can see that these are very easy ones okay next i have the another four i have a disturbing experience i will discuss it with my family members if i have a disturbing experience i will discuss it with my family members so this is how we have condition again read regularly you will get more knowledge if you read regularly you will get more knowledge again here you can see the sentence is starting with main verb directly read so what is the hidden subject here you okay so you have to immediately guess it do your exercises promptly you will not fail if you do your exercises promptly you will not fail go to bed early you will be healthy it is a suggestion so if you go to bed early you will be healthy so you can again see that this sentence is starting with the main verb go so what is the hidden subject again of course it is you very good next one you have supply a condition or a possible result to the following so we have got uh, sentences here so they have divided them some of the sentences are with the conditions and the result is not there for them some of the sentences are with the results and the condition is not for them not there for them so we have to write uh, you know the we have to complete that fill in the blanks here so if you do not water the plants what happens they will die yes next if you keep your surroundings clean you will be healthy if you write the exam well you will pass in with the distinction if you quarrel with everybody you will remain alone if you eat oily food you will be sick you can write another reasons also here okay if you step on a snake it will bite you okay so these are the conditions on the left side okay and these are the results so together they are if conditional sentence next one you have got a notice here that you have to do by your own so uh, first thing is you will not the ted ds aspirants you uh, you know you will not get any notice to write in your examination so some of the rules might be asked but mostly the rules will be from the letter writing only so need not to worry so here the students uh, who are in the school so okay you have to focus on this notice here so look at the structure here okay the title okay the main title notice and the notice is from particular institution the institution name and the uh, you know the subject name okay what is the subject of the notice so green india survey and date here body of the notice and finally 
the person who delivers the notice so this is the structure of the notice so you have got two exercises you have to complete them on the instructions of your teacher okay next one you have got green india survey form okay how to complete all these details that is going to be your textbook exercise so you need not to worry you will not get that for your exam so that is for your feedback you can write that in your textbook no problem next here you have a, a short conversation the first fruit so one morning a king went on a horseback to the uh, countryside he came to a village and saw an old man in a field so the old man was digging the earth and planting mango saplings he was working very hard king good morning my friend you are planning planting these saplings uh, when will you get the fruit from them old man these saplings will be big trees in 10 years or 15 years they will bear fruit then king but you are old and weak you will die in a few years you will not eat their fruit old man you are right sir i will not eat the fruit of these trees but others will eat it i am planting these saplings for them and i am happy king i am pleased with you old man you love other people you are a good man please take this bag of money it's for you old man thank you sir this bag of money is the first fruit of my little trees so this is a when you uh when you focus on other people like when you work for the uh, benefit of other people okay without any selfless uh, selfish uh, feeling or selfish desire if you completely work for other people then remember you are going to get very good benefits okay so next year we have got study skills so these study skills are going to be important for both students and also ted ds for aspirants so they might give this type of exercise also okay so be very careful here so look at the picture and read the following text and fill the subscription form so you have you have got terra green is a leading monthly environmental magazine it promotes the concept of sustainable development launched in june 2004 this magazine from terry is an effort to bring for information and knowledge in the fields of energy environment and sustainable development so this is the short paragraph given here or regarding this uh, terra green magazine so what happens here is you have got questions okay so these questions are very important so re study skills reading skills okay if you read that magazine or whatever the uh, exercise that is given there then it is going to be easy for you to answer them quickly so look at this first uh, question here what is the name of the periodical we know immediately it is terra green so here you can see terra green okay next one what does terry stands for what does terry stands for you can see here the energy and resources institute terry okay so this is what next what is the annual subscription rate of the monthly magazine so like annual in year that means one year so uh, you will finally get for it for 400 rupees okay despite of all these uh, uh you know this uh, savings and all next what is the website address of the periodical website address of the periodical you can see at www.terragreen ter t e r i i n o r g okay so see these type of minute things usually we don't focus much on these website names and all but see that uh, this much of big picture is given here this much of paragraph is given here but the questions are going to be completely different okay this is going to be another superb question here what bonus will you get if you subscribe to the magazine for 3 years so what is the bonus you are going to get here so see here if you subscribe it for 3 years what is the bonus can you see anywhere the answer you are going to get here is see this small sentence free online access to those who subscribe for 3 years can you guess it can you guess that the answer will be in this much of uh, you know small letters we cannot even guess it so that's why study skills or reading skills are very much important okay so reading skills are uh, to estimate whether you are observing everything or not okay next one here listening and speaking so i will read a, a story for you here and after that you can 
um, go through the question and answers. So here, the little boy and the kind tree. There is a story about a kind tree and a little boy. The little boy played in the shade of the tree every day. The tree loved him very much. One day the boy sat at the foot of the tree. There were tears in his eyes. Why are you crying? asked the child, asked the tree. Because I am hungry, said the little boy. Eat my fruit, said the kind tree, and bent down one of its branches. The boy ate the fruits and was happy. The boy grew up. One day he sat under the tree. He was sad. Why are you sad? asked the tree. I am going to marry, said the young man, but I have no house to live in. Cut down my branches, said the tree, and build a house. The young man built a house with the branches of the tree. The young man became a sailor. One day, he sat under the tree. He looked unhappy. Why are you unhappy? asked the tree. Because my captain is a bad man and cruel to me, said the sailor. I want to have my own ship. Cut down my trunk and build a ship, said the tree. The sailor built a ship on his own. The tree was gone. Only the stump was there. In ten years, the sailor lost his ship. He came home. He was a helpless old man. So, one cold winter uh, day, the old man stood near the stump of the old tree. He learned. He uh, leaned on uh, on uh, on his stick and trembled with cold. Make a fire out of me, said the stump of the tree, and warm yourself. The stump of the kind tree burned the fire burned in the fire as you can see here each and every part of the tree is very much useful uh, for the human okay so here look at the title here listening and speaking your teacher will tell you the story the little boy and a kind tree listen carefully and answer the following questions so here you can see the picture here that how this man is building uh, boat with the trunk of the tree. So tick the correct answer here. Who helped the little boy? Mother, animals, a tree, a tree. Next, I am going to marry. Who said these words? The young man. Next, what did the young man become? He finally became a sailor. Sailor, you know, no? Okay, the one who sails in the oceans. Next, on the waters also. What does the story tell us? It tells the selfless giving. The tree did not, uh, you know, uh, think selfishly and uh, wanted to live on its own. It has the selfless thoughts. Okay, no selfishness, nothing. Okay, it offered everything. When he was small, he gave he gave these uh, fruits. When he was young, when he married, he gave its branches to build a house. Later, he gave his trunk. Later, he finally gave his stump also. Okay, so this is of he has no selfishness. Next, say whether the following are true or false. The young man was the young man helped the tree to grow well. Did he? No. False. The captain was a kind man. No. Okay, his owner, the young man's owner was not a kind man. False. Next, the tree helped the little boy till the end, starting to end. Yes, that is true. Next, the tree was loving and affectionate. Yes or no? Since it is loving and affectionate, it offered everything uh, to that uh, young man, to that boy. Okay, so this is it for this video. And uh, you just mark them everything in your textbook. Okay, so that it will be easy for you when you refer them again. So that is it for this video. And in the next video, I will be teaching you unit 6 grammar part. So please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get all the notifications. And also share this video with your friends so that uh, they can also learn um, uh, all this textbook grammar. Okay, students. So see you all in the next video. Take care. God bless you.